Hi everyone, it's Elle uh, here to do a quick read. So it's going to be a collective read, but I'm going to—it's time stamped, so that'll be good for you guys. Um, it's going to be the love messages for each um, each sign. I'm going to start with um, Aries. Uh, I picked the signs by um, you know who had the most views, so I'm going to start with Aries. And then I'm gonna um, go in order by who had the most views, okay? All right, so let's get started. Aries first, the love messages for Aries. Just a quick read. I'm gonna pull uh, three to four cards. Wow, all right. The love messages for Aries. I hope that everyone is doing well out there. bottom of the deck the death card all right uh endings new beginnings transformation in a situation you might be getting what you want you might be someone may be coming back uh transformed or trying to rectify and reconcile the situation let's see ace of cups page of cups five of sword temperance yeah like i said someone may be um trying to they may be giving an apology. They may be stating that they've changed. They understand that love rests between you two, that they haven't found um, a love like this and they won't. They understand what you, you guys have. It could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be interference. There was gossip. There was a need to set boundaries here for someone. But this this uh, relationship is it's it's um it's the yin and the yang. It's a balancing act. You guys balance one one another out. You know you balance each other each other out. Um, it may even be a twin flame type of situation. This these are the love messages here. Um, there may be turbulence, but it looks like. If it's not ending, and doesn't look like it's ending because of the page of cups here, um, someone may be coming back saying, okay, I understand what it is we have. Yes, I have not acted in the manner that I should have. I should, I should have taken things serious. It could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's water here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, Sagittarius here, Scorpio. It could be any sign, but it looks like someone is coming back. This is someone you have history with. This isn't a new person. Um, there could have been third party situations. Someone had, is trying to put an end to an old way of doing things, an old way of, of being in love or being in relationship with Aries and or Aries could be trying to do this with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio of uh, trying to to be yeah someone's trying to really come back and say I, I changed this whole reading it's someone's trying to get you to understand that um something takes time here maybe with a Gemini Libra Aquarius the argument the heavy argument is about time and the perfect timing here with the temperance it, it takes time somebody may be in a relationship you're trying to get out and trying to put an ending to it the death card didn't happen overnight this is um you know gradual so these are the messages for aries all right okay and we're back with the messages we're gonna start with gemini the messages the love messages for gemini just a quick spread three to four cards thank you for the love messages for Gemini love messages for Gemini okay bottom of the deck we have the magician 
All right. Um, this could be Gemini. This could be Aquarius. This could be Aries. It could be anybody. Um, someone is really trying to use all power within themselves to get a specific outcome. That's just what the magician is. The Two of Swords, the Fool, the Knight, Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups. It looks like someone's at a place, Gemini may be at a place of trying to manifest a new life elsewhere. Walking away from, knowing that they're going to be starting over like the Fool. The fool card doesn't mean you are a fool. It's just the zero card. It's it's abandoning one direction. And it's only contemplation now. Contemplating, abandoning um, the path that you're on and starting over. Some of you know you need to make this decision. You aren't. You're still up in your head about it. The heart and the mind are not aligned. So a decision has not been made. Also someone could be Gemini. Could be another air sign. Is seeking truth. They want the truth. And they may be acting fast on this. This, this walking away from. This moving away from. The opportunity for them to get new housing, to get a job, to get whatever is here. And they may have to, um, yeah, this is moving. The opportunity to actually, a physical move and an emotional, of course. Um, the opportunity is here. It may come fast for you. Um, yeah, definitely contemplating it. You may have even put some things in place with the magician here at the bottom of the deck you could be moving away from a cancer pisces scorpio another air sign aries uh aquarius with this kind of contemplation of actually just removing yourself from a situation um oh i'm hearing being kicked out too i don't know if somebody's getting kicked out because they are the magician they were being manipulative uh, maybe they were keeping secrets anyhow you know it could be it could be anything um with this kind of contemplation of course there were problems there in the existing path on the existing path the moon is here there were secrets there was lies there was manipulation there there were things that were not seen to those who weren't involved in in this relationship whether it's business um romantic job gemini knows why they're walking away or someone's walking away from gemini because they want to um be like the fool and chart a new path go on a new development start over um away from Gemini may be going to this person, said person, or in you know entity or whatever, and um, you know wanting truth, being confrontational, speaking their truth about yeah, speaking their truth in regards to this person choosing to walk away from. All right, so that this is the love messages. These are the love messages for Gemini. I hope that they resonated. All right, so we'll be back with the messages for Cancer. Okay, and we're back with the love messages for Cancer. The love messages for Cancer. Love messages for cancer for the last part of August going into September. And this year has gone by so fast. Love messages for cancer. Okay.
Okay. Bottom of the deck, the nine of fire. Okay. So someone, Cancer, or maybe Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, feels like they have gone through or are still going through a lot in a situation. They've kind of removed themselves and they're evaluating. As you can see, this woman is looking at the 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 fire lit lantern of stars and it's she's evaluating it so it's almost as if you're stepping away from a, a turbulent situation and evaluating if you even want to go back into it um, the wounded warrior um, the person who's taking a break who's taking a step back um, away from okay let's see the ten of earth the world the seven of earth and the four of fire um, looks like for cancer some of you are really contemplating um, are I mean are you on the right path some of you are really um, taking into account what you have established for yourself for family for the family that you, you have chosen you you went out and made you know not the family you were born into but there might be a cycle ending here in regards to a family unit, um, family money, how you make money. There might be an, an ending to one job, one career, and on to the next. It really feels like a relationship, though. Uh, we have a seven of earth here. Cancer is looking at what they have established thus far with said person. Um, and they're seeing that they didn't get much of an investment out of this. Not much of a, a return on their investment. They put a lot into a situation, a relationship, a person, definitely a relationship before a fire. And they're contemplating, do I stay here? Or do I allow the Ten of Fire or the Ten of Wands to happen to where I just completely lay down the burden that is maybe this relationship? You could be dealing with a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo may be coming back with a proposal of some sort. And you're wondering if I should even jump back into this. Um, a, a cycle has ended. I've, I've grown from it. Do I want to go back? Because I didn't get what I wanted when I was there the first time. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign, a uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. What's the other one? Scorpio. And um, you may be something that's ended. A new chapter is starting here. because you didn't get what you wanted in a in another situation or you you put so much time and effort into it it's almost as if you're equating time with love or loyalty time is just time time don't give you time time makes lovers feel like they got something real okay <laughs> all right look that one up that's culture club um Time is just time. That's all it is. Sometimes you can spend so much time in the wrong situation, and you will you will um, attribute that to um, a successful relationship or loyalty or love. No, you just were there for too long. You know, you you stayed when you could have left, when the other person could have left. But maybe you made it comfortable with the ten of earth here. But a cycle is ending. Um, new chapter can't I get a personal reading from me or anywhere else but looks like you guys need to figure out what the next chapter is you're trying to you're looking at what love and relationship is kind of with an immature eye an immature sense of you know maybe it's just that you stay too long and now you're at the nine of fire. 
even you know wondering if you should even jump back into this it might even be separation here all right cancer um i hope it resonated we will be back with um virgo hi virgo it's l here to do the love messages for the last part of august going into september i'll pull four cards for you try to interpret it Love messages for Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the ten, to, ten of Pentacles. Okay, so something around a family unit husband wife children dog something you've established long term virgo let's see you're making some decisions six of pentacles eight of wands eight of swords seven of pentacles some of you are feeling trapped in a situation you just don't see a way out of maybe a marriage Or you're feeling trapped to an, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you understand that you've invested so much here. and um, But you're not getting the return. Not what you expected. It's, you are contemplating a new path. You may even be having communication in regards to the trouble or jealousy in the relationship with someone else or, or this could be the arrows of love here or the six of pentacles you you've found balance six of pentacle um equality maybe with someone else a fire sign aries sagittarius leo capricorn virgo taurus while still feeling bound stuck trap not seeing a way out of what you have done for seven or more years what you've established with someone for seven or more years looking back at the time spent okay i heard time wasted in maybe a marriage some of you um the eight of wands and the eight of swords yeah you're like a merry-go-round you need to get off you get off when you know you've had enough and you know you want to go in a new direction um you stay on the merry-go-round when it still is um comfortable for you we've got two eights here you gotta get off you, you have to understand that there is a way out the memories hold you bound to a certain situation and obligation. I don't know if it's family, uh, children, uh, family outside of the one that you wouldn't establish for yourself. But it looks like Virgo is wrapped, stuck in obligation. Wanting to be elsewhere, communicating about wanting to be elsewhere uh, because this situation doesn't pay off and you may have found balance elsewhere with someone else or something else uh, but still stuck on the merry-go-round of of um, what you've been doing for the last maybe cycle here cycle of seven years um, we determine that we're co-creators in in our destiny of course you know God will intervene only when you pray to him they don't just come and miraculously do nothing you know do all this great stuff and you've asked for nothing um, be a be a crow creator and what you want um, pray uh, meditate um, write out a plan of action vision and uh, whoever you believe in source will help you get to the place you want to be because it looks like Virgo is just stuck in stagnant stagnant energy okay I hope that this message resonated with you we're going to go on to Scorpio 
Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick read of the love messages for you. We're going to do four cards spread for you, alright? Let's get started. Thank you for the love messages for Scorpio. For the last part of August going into September. bottom of the deck the three of wands someone is trying to make future plans someone may be leaving behind an old an old way of doing something um old partnership building for the future they someone's left behind old old partners like these people thought that they would forever have some type of rank here in your life scorpio but it's like you've you're, you've left it behind. You're really trying to move forward in the right manner. Let's see. The Four of Cups. The Hanged Man. The Seven of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Scorpio, you may not be taken to any advances. Maybe from another Cancer Pisces Scorpio like yourself. You're trying to see things from a different perspective and you're warding off sexual advances. You're warding off of sexual advances. I wasn't even about to say that, but hey, these people thought they would always have rank here. Okay, for my Scorpio man, you have more than one person in this world that you have procreated with um, I'm trying to put that in the nicest form <laughs> and these women you have always kept them on rotation you've always kept them in a, in a place of availability of, of being available to them and then being available to you um, they don't like this new this new Scorpio where they're not trying to go back into what no longer served them. Um, they want you to take to this cup, but you're not taking to it. You're trying to see things in a new perspective, a new light. You may even be in a new position in, in life. Some of you may now be married or partnered um, you're really trying to ward off all communication, all uh, negativity, all advances that mean you no good in the long run. Uh, and just really have the motivation to stay positive and away from, yeah, somebody is really trying to tempt you with sex here. You're being seductive or, or sexual or just trying to be overly, you know, passionate about a situation. The Scorpio don't take to it because there's no, there's no foundation in it. This, this person or these people just want to win at all costs. You may... You may, they may look at you as you you hit a, you hit the I don't know, you're with the big fish like you have money now or you hit the lottery or you something, and they and they're coming at you. Wow, Scorpio, get a person. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I hope that this message resonated with you, Scorpio. Stay away from those who don't want anything real with you. Okay. All right.